The year is 1667, and you are a pirate sailing the waters of the Caribbean. There is treasure to be had, but who will you trust? To set up the game, shuffle and deal each player one player card, three face-down vote cards, and one face-down loyalty card, based on the table in the rulebook. Take the pawns that match the player cards and place them randomly on both ships front to back, starting with the Flying Dutchman. Put four treasure tokens on the Spanish Galleon and one in each team's treasure hold on Tartuga. Give one to each of the two players whose pawns are at the front of each ship. They each place their treasure in either hold on their ship. Finally, prepare the event deck by removing the Spanish Armada and all starred cards. Starred cards can be added in future games for advanced players. Shuffle the event cards and place the Spanish Armada at the bottom. Put five event cards face down next to the map. During the game, players will have turns, often involving these event cards. When the Spanish Armada is revealed, the game will end. The goal is for your team, indicated on your secret loyalty card, to have the most treasure in its treasure holds when the game ends. There are treasure holds on both ships and on Tortuga. You'll have to work with the other pirates in the game to succeed, but you won't know for sure who's on your team until the game is over. On your turn, you may select one action to perform, as indicated on your player card. Three of these actions involve the five event cards next to the board. 1. You may secretly view two event cards. 2. You may reveal and resolve one event card. 3. Or, you may point to two event cards and force someone else to reveal one of them. Knowledge in this game is key since revealing some event cards, such as the Black Spot, will hurt you and your team, and some, like the Letter of Mark, will help you. If you know the location of hurtful cards, you can avoid them, and instead force your enemies to reveal them and suffer the consequences. Other player actions available to you depend on your current position on your ship. The player at the front of a ship is that ship's captain. On their turn, captains can call for an attack as their action, if they do so, all players on their ship will put in one vote card, and one is added from the deck. If there is at least one cannon and one torch on the top section of the vote card, the captain gets to take a piece of treasure from the Spanish Galleon and place it in either treasure hold on their ship. But beware, some of your crewmates may try to fail the attack by secretly putting in water cards, which cancel out torches. The player second in line on a ship is that ship's first mate. On their turn, first mates can call for a mutiny as their action. When this happens, all players on a ship, except for the captain, put in one vote card, and one is added from the deck. A majority of crossbones sends the captain to Tortuga and lets the first mate become the new captain. In the case of a tie or a majority having a helm, nothing happens. During the game, some pawns may get marooned to Tortuga. Whichever pawn is at the front of the line on Tortuga is the governor. On their turn, the governor may call for a brawl. When this happens, all players on Tartuga put in one vote card and one is added from the deck. A majority of a flag places the two treasures on Tortuga into the matching team's treasure hold. In a tie, one treasure is put in each hold. The player at the back of the line on a ship is that ship's cabin boy. On their turn, the cabin boy can use their action to move a treasure from one hold to the other hold on their ship. Whenever a vacancy appears on a ship or on Tortuga, pawns move up in rank to fill in the empty spots. Players can also use an action to move on to a rowboat to get from Tortuga to a ship or vice versa. It takes one turn to get on a rowboat and another turn to get to your new location. Once there are five event cards left, shuffle all five and again place them next to the map. The Spanish Armada will be one of these five cards. When the Spanish Armada is revealed, the game ends and the team with the most treasure in their treasure holds wins. In games with an odd number of players, there is a lone Dutch player who is on their own team. They win if the game ends in a tie. In Tortuga 1667, players can win with a variety of strategies. Some win by lying about their loyalty until the very end, when they move treasure into their actual team's treasure holds. Some win by telling the truth the whole game and relying on the event cards to put them and their teammates in the right positions to win. Bon voyage and watch out for pirates!